we are back and I did a lot of fiddling and I found that it really isn't practical to stop using uh, Elgato sound capture um, like I thought it would be. Um, I just can't really get a good clean signal um, and also output over HDMI without a lot of fuss. So uh, I need to keep talking to them to try to figure out, see if they can like hopefully get the stuff fixed up because it's a really good app. But well, the problem is, um, well, there's two major problems. One is that it is less than half the volume of your normal PC stuff. So if the Elgato sound capture ever turns off, um, you go deaf. And I have done that about four times in the last ten minutes. And I have a very big headache, by the way. Um, that's extremely annoying. And it also... Um, it just really is bad at having, if you plug in more inputs or if you put the computer to sleep and it redetects inputs, it just flips out and you gotta reboot and that sucks. Anyway, you probably don't care. Um, I If you close the game, it says, oh hey, this will save the state of the game and blah blah blah. I figured you had to go to sleep to save the game. Um, but no, you can just click X and it'll, it'll go whenever. Tap tap, tap tap, can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, phew, what happened? I think I went pitch black for a second. So yeah, he. They know when you close the game. It's a cute little touch. Are you alive? Hey, buddy! I am functional! He totally looks like Cave. Or, quote, not Cave. <laughs> Was it you who fixed the generator? Well, Tap Tap helped me, but yeah! Hello, nice to meet you. I am Robot. Ah. 310. Would you like me to take you somewhere? Actually, no. Hold on. Are you okay? I cannot move. Well, you're really rusty. That is true. Hold on, Tap Tap and I will find a way to help you. Okay. So I can't do that anyway. Uh, let's fast travel to the thing. Uh, no! Not this again! Uh, transitions! I hate them. No! There, there, is, there are very few things more frustrating than being in a video game and having you just throw your inputs into the garbage. Oh, by the way, uh, speaking of inputs, I... Don't know how I missed this, but you can set the default movement to run, so I so I did. No, one hundred percent sure. Oh, for the numbers and stuff. Okay, yeah. I'll just leave colorblind mode off for now. Um, but yeah, it's it's cool to have it. Shrimp swamp dormitories. Yeah, I think it's dormitories. Weird, they're not in like order of like discovery or whatever. Like order of reasonable discovery. This place is real freaking big. I remember being taught in school about how the waters surrounding the forest stretched until the boundaries of space. But at some point, the prehistoric oceans receded, forming what is now the Barrens. I wonder where all that water went. Probably down the toilet. Tiny shrimp are swimming in this jar. Dang. Um, I'm just going to find the right side of this map, which I believe is probably right here. Yep. And, uh, actually, it's a bit loud. I, ugh. I have messed with so many input things, but the good thing is I think I found where the static noise was coming from, and I muted that, and I have learned a lot about how my PC outputs audio, which is neat, but, um, didn't entirely solve my problems, but I, I at least understand my problems, and I understand what I can do and what I can't do. This thing looks like Balrog. It's a power cell, I think. There's writing on this one, too. It says Guardian of Residential Area. So if anybody gets, like, PO'd at one of the robots, I can just smash that jar and rest in pieces. Looks like they're evacuating the few tamed robots we have here. Makes sense. No point in keeping them in the barrens if all the people are already gone. I wonder if the engineer is going, too. Oh, she's a tamed robot, isn't she? Whatever that means. Apparently, phase one of the evacuation ended prematurely. The big ship started malfunctioning. Only after a few round trips. It said those due to something with squares? I'm not sure what they mean by that. Those glitch things? Bummer. Looks like they weren't able to transport most of these surplus bots to the city this rate. We work so hard on those, but I suppose the robots are b busy enough with transporting people as it is. I think it's our turn to go soon. Hello, buddy. Unit blah blah blah. I'll now escort you to reach your dormitory. Um, what? I think we're already here. Yeah, we talked to that guy. Okay, I think we're pretty much done here. I'm just gonna double check. 
so freaking many of these things and they all look the same. Yeah, read that one. Okay, I think we are finally done with those things. Whew. So how have you all been? I at work we um we started having to track in our um not necessarily our hours but like what we do, like what we work on and stuff because we're trying to get more people. So it sucks to have to we use this thing called track it and it sucks to have to, you know, write down every minute thing. Like every time somebody calls with like a question, we got to put it in no matter how much time it takes. Uh, but just kind of I guess we need to prove to upper management that yeah, we don't have enough people, which we don't. Um we're the uh, IT department in a company that uh, pretty big, well, like medium sized, and uh, we have a very, very tiny IT department, especially in terms of like programmers. It's really just me. My boss can program, but it's not really what he does. He's the CTO. Um, we're down one programmer, so it's pretty much all in me, and uh, our um, we have a network guy, but you know. It's annoying. Hopefully we get... We need more IT people in general. Like, uh, well, I'm not really... I, You know, I'm a programmer, not really, you know, fixed it printer machine person, which is annoying because we don't have enough fixed the printer machine people, so I end up having to fix the printer machine sometimes. Have you ever seen a printer machine? Those things are terrifying. I hate them. They should be illegal. Anyway, there's a weird... Something weird about the robots that get sent to the work near the gas fields. So they can accumulate rust at slower rates than the others. Oh! Few who directly work with gas hydrogen look practically new. As a result of the atmosphere, or am I just seeing things? Oh, ho, ho, ho. I know what to do that with that bottle full of gas, then. <laughs> Why are these st smoke stacks, like... Smoke stacks are supposed to be attached to something, not just everywhere. Ooh. Hello, person. Welcome to the chemical processing plant. Most of the equipment has already been relocated. The door is all boarded up. Two boards seem loose, though. Aw, oh, yes! It's Gordon Freeman time, my friends. What a workout. A bunch of robots without power. That's kind of creepy, isn't it? Guess the generator can only do so much. It's a big metal box with complicated machinery inside. It seems to be a page ripped out of a book. These people with their pages! Leave the pages where you found them. Stop this. Without breaking the seal, inject the liquid phosphor into the container. Shake vigorously to initiate the reaction. Oh, we need the liquid phosphor as well. Note filament and begin to separate further shaking is required. Also note hand protection is critical after this step. The resulting acid is moderately stronger than common household cleaners. I don't know what half those words mean. It's a good thing you're here, Tap Tap. Oh, you expect me to be able to read? I came here to lead, not to read. Cleaning sponge with a rough surface. Oh, he's so sad for the robots. He looks so cute holding the little thing. It's a pair of rubber gloves, they're a bit heavy. Seems to be a page ripped out of a book. Cannot overstate the importance of cleaning solvents in this environment. Here is a simple recipe involving the ultimate discussed in the last time. We need to the natural properties of blue phosphor. Regents, acidic gas. Oh, dang. It's not just poison, it's acidic. Rest in peace. Um, blue phosphor, rare form. In a well ventilated area, direct the gas. Seal immediately. I guess I'm already wearing the rubber gloves. That's good so my hands don't melt this way. Have you ever tried to, like, play a video game with melted hands? It's not pleasant. It's not pleasant. I don't think there's anything else here. Nope. Alright, so... I'm gonna guess the syringe is gonna act as my funnel, because I'll be able to, like... Sploop it out. Um... How do I... Oh. Ah. The, the thing with two menus always confuses me, especially when it's not start and select. And I mean, even if it is. Um, shrimp swamp? Question mark? Yeah, there we go. Alright. Uh, use the syringe. So, we're filling up the syringe tap tap? I guess it's kind of like a funnel. But the liquid might be a bit too thick to fit in the needle. 
Hey, it actually went in. Gross. <laughs> All right. Inject the stuff into the bottle of smoke. So I should inject the liquid through the cork, right, Tap Tap? I, I guess. Wow, that's a pretty... Hopefully it's a long needle. It's like I'm a doctor. He's so cute. Oh, I should probably shake this too. It changed color. Bottle of acid. Be very careful with that, Nico. I'm not sure I trust you with the bottle full of frickin' acid. <laughs> Love his little glowy eyes. Alright, let's spray acid all over this robot, which is a reasonable, insane thing to do. Here's your acid, bro. I need something. Oh. As you said on the sponge. You guess what we want? Yep. I think I have these gloves. I hope this works. Alright, hold still. I have no other choice. <laughs> Wrecked. There. That was that. I can move again. Thank you. Aww. I'm able to fulfill my purpose again. Would you like to go? Uh, can you take me to the tower? Calculating. Closest destination to the tower is the Glen. Port number. My built-in navigation cables is fried. I'm going to assume that's not good. This is not good at all. Once again, I cannot follow my programming. Aw, is there anything we can do to help? Ventimari can speak with a head engineer. She will know what to do. Okay. We know who that is now, so travel outpost. Wait, not the outpost. Lookout point. They could have like called it head engineer's home or something. Excuse me again, miss. We found a robot. You can take me towards the tower. But it's having some trouble, so it told me to talk to you. All right. What is the issue? It says something about its navigation circuits being fried. Just the navigation circuits? Apparently. Tap Tap and I fixed everything else, I think. Hmm. I have something that may help. Robots have the ability to trace material from their source location. If you the robot bury this, borrow this, and it may back up tracking... What? <gasps> it's the thing. Look at his little face. What a cute... But yes, it's, it's the thing, the, the, the thing that's on the book. What's it made of? Amber found from the Glen. What's the thing inside the amber? The black clover? That's a common plant in our world. It's also... Dun, dun, dun. I'm not sure if I can bear to part with this. Oh, it's a robot husband. My programming says yes, but I still feel conflicted. Never mind. You need to finish your mission more than I need to keep keepsake here. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Is there anything else I can do in return? Actually, do you know how to play chess? Sorta. Of. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I've played it with some older kids before. Hmm. Then when you play a game with me? I mean, I don't know the rules very well, but I guess it's the least I could do. Aw. You're really good at this. Thank you. It was built into my code. Cheap. So what's it like being a robot and all? I talked to other robots, and I also said about programming and code and stuff. Even you did just now. It's a little hard to understand sometimes. I know. Watch this robot here, not tamed. Tamed? Watch out. There goes my bishop. Taming is complicated. Oh? How complicated, exactly? There goes my other bishop. I can't really explain what tamed robots are. But I'm one of them. I knew it! They're people robots. All the other tamed robots have been moved to other regions. Exactly where, I don't know. There goes my little horse. Aww. Nice. Right. Oh, have you ever been to any other regions? I heard there's two more. In the past, yes. I have the data, the coordinates, the memories. Don't know how much of that still holds true. The world may be a very different place now. Because the sun is gone? No. Said this already, didn't I? The sun probably won't save the world. Decaying started b before the sun went out. Oh. That's not good. The sun's sudden death was just a tipping point. Things went south really fast after that. Oh. Then there's nothing I can do? Check. What? When's your queen did there? <laughs> the only thing you can do is complete your pilgrimage. In a way. You're only supposed to be a second chance for the people. Just like how the barons are only supposed to be a second chance for me. There's no guarantee that things will work out. But, checkmate. Alright. I guess I've kept you long enough. Thank you for listening. I hope you get home safely. Thank you also! Thanks, Silver. Off you go. There's no reason for you to linger in the Barrens. 
I guess we're going back to the do oop, not the cliffs. Docks. Alright, next time I guess we're going to leave the uh, Barrens finally and head to the Glen. Wait, no, too far. <laughs> I love the little eye change. Nico is very good. Alright, yeah, next time we will traverse the ocean.